Welcome to our Tech Explainer video. Today, we're diving into a common challenge faced by many developers. Our viewer, Kirupa, is experimenting with the Fetch API and has encountered an interesting issue. They noticed that when trying to fetch a resource that doesn't exist, Chrome displays a 404 error, while Edge and Firefox do not. This raises an important question. What should Kirupa do to avoid this error in Chrome? Welcome back to another tech video. Today we're going to be going through your question, answering it, and hopefully finding that solution for you. Guys, remember to stay a little bit crazy like me and find that resolution. Now, let's continue on. Let's address the issue with the Fetch API and 404 errors in Chrome. First, it's important to understand how the Fetch API works across different browsers. In Chrome, when a resource is not found, it triggers a 404 error. However, this does not result in a network error, which is why your catch block isn't being executed. To handle this situation effectively, you can check the response status directly in your then block. If the status is not 200, you can handle it accordingly. Here's how you can modify your code. Instead of relying on the catch block, add a condition to check for the 404 status. By implementing this check, you can ensure that your application handles 404 errors gracefully, regardless of the browser being used. Let's now look at a user-suggested answer. In this discussion about the Fetch API and 404 errors, it's noted that only Chrome displays an error when a resource is not found. However, the user is experiencing similar errors in Firefox and Safari as well. The user shared their code, which attempts to fetch a non-existent data JSON file using both async await and promise syntax. They log messages based on whether an error occurs. The analysis explains that browsers must make a network request to check if a resource exists. Chrome logs 404 errors, which can be seen in the developer tools. Let's now look at another user-suggested answer. To handle 404 errors with the Fetch API, you can create a custom error handler. This involves using promise.reject to manage the response. In the code, the status function checks if the response is okay. If not, it converts the response to JSON and rejects the promise. Let's now look at another user-suggested answer. In this example, we explore a different way to handle API fetching using promise chaining. The code demonstrates how to fetch data from a URL and handle the response effectively. The fetch function checks if the response is okay. If it is, it converts the response to JSON. 
If not, it rejects the promise with an error status. Finally, the data is handled in a separate function and any errors during the fetch process are logged to the console. Let's now look at another user-suggested answer. To handle 404 errors with the Fetch API in Chrome, you can use the second function in the then method to catch promise rejections. For more details on promises, check out the MDN documentation. And that's it guys. We've worked through, gone through your question, hopefully found that solution you're looking for. If we did, please hit subscribe. I really appreciate it. And until next time, you need technical help. I hope you have a good one. Cheers. Cheers.